One of the, the sticking points in the fiscal cliff negotiations right now is what's going to happen with Medicare. Um, and it's interesting to see how the Republicans are speaking now compared to how they were before the election. Uh, so first, we have a mashup of what they were saying uh, during the election before Obama won. Let's hear those. Cuts the, uh, the payments uh, that go to Medicare by $700 billion. Now when you need it, Obama has cut $716 billion from Medicare. On Medicare for current retirees. He's cutting $716 billion from the program because of those $716 billion in cuts. $716, $716 billion. You're going to see a $716 billion cut to Medicare. This rate of $716 billion from Medicare to pay for Obamacare. Obama is rating $716 billion from Medicare, changing the program forever. Medicare should be the promise that it made to our current seniors, period, end of story. And Barack Obama has taken $716 billion from you. That's simple. That simple. And so if you yeah. watch the election, you would think that the Republicans were the protectors of Medicare. They were outraged that Obama wanted to cut Medicare, which, right. by the way, is not true. Yeah. Okay, But, but well, of course. A little. No, in the sense that what it does is it gets rid of Medicare it's Advantage. Yeah. It gets rid of Medicare Advantage, which is just skimming off the top and giving it to private insurance for no reason. It has zero extra benefits for the people actually receiving Medicare. So look, I want to protect Medicare 100%. So, and, and I think that was a good way to, to get rid of waste and fraud. Anyway, but you, the Republicans run the campaign like, if there's anyone who wants to save Medicare, it is us. We do not want to cut it, okay? Yeah. Now, understand that as you watch the next clip, which is after the elections, entitlement reform means entitlements are Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid, okay? And reform means cutting. <laughs> so let's see what they want after the election. For entitlement reform. In entitlement reform. How we reform the entitlements. It's coupled with real entitlement reform. And it's going to take uh, cuts in entitlements. Only if Democrats will do entitlement reform. Making real changes to the financial structure of entitlement programs. To change the model for Medicare over long term. Without spending cuts in entitlement reforms, it's going to be impossible to address our country's debt crisis. 67, 69 on Social Security. You know, the retirement age has to be changed. Maybe some of the benefits have to be affected. Sure of entitlement programs that are the primary drivers of our debt. Entitlements have to be slowed down and contained. The bottom line is those entitlement cuts are going to be a lot more painful yeah. for both Democrats and Republicans, but they're going to have to do it. To lower people's expectations, the entitlements, and what people think that they're going to get. So what I loved in there is how we put in the Republicans, the CEOs, and Fox News and Aaron Burnett, mm -hmm. because they are one machine, yeah. okay? They are united in, we must cut your Medicare and Social Security because uh, the rich need more tax cuts. Yeah. But that's really interesting because I thought all you guys said you wanted to protect Medicare. The minute the election's over, we have to, we must, it is urgent, we're gonna go over a fiscal cliff, we must cut Medicare. I mean, come on, man. These guys are not honest brokers. You know, we treat the parties at face value, like, oh, the Democrats say this and the Republicans say that. But the Republicans are full of lies. I mean, so everybody, before the election, when I was screaming, of course they want to cut Medicare, they were like, oh, Jane, you're such a partisan. You know, <laughs> oh, come on. You're, obviously, you're biased. No, you have to just treat what the Republicans say with. With, as if they're honest actors yeah. and like no they're saying they want to protect Medicare so they probably do and will you look at that they changed their that's mind so the minute the election was over yeah. of course that's the that's the political that's the political machine sort of played out in that in a in a great mashup because they'll say anything to get elected and then after the election the agenda comes forward and even within that after election period there there are political deals being made so yeah, Jank, you're absolutely right. And you were calling them out prior to the election, the, prior to the general election that we've just been through. And uh, yeah, they need to get called out again. I think that dirt poor elderly people have been skating by long enough and it's time for them to figure out what some bootstraps are. They don't need this free money from the government. 